This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting as required by said act has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2020, which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board as well as the Borough website, reported to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County and filed with the Borough Clerk on January 4th, 2020. Thank you. Roll call. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Casabone. Present. Mr. Delisandro. Here. Ms. Miller. Here. Mrs. Spence. Mrs. Spence. Uh, Mr. Melandro. Present. Mr. Scafidi. Present. Mr. Brunimer. Present. Let the record reflect that Mr. Fiola, Mr. Halter, and Mrs. Spence are excused for this evening. What do we got next? The bill list? Yes. Do we need a motion or anything on that? I'm sorry. Not no. at this point. This is just the pre-council work session. Got it. Okay. Karen, would you would you take us through, I guess, the agenda items at this point? Will we all? Yes, of course. <laughs> Um, so we have on the agenda, the regular council meeting agenda for this evening, we have <clears throat> a public sale of public auction, excuse me, of land um, for Cleveland Avenue, block 466, lots seven and eight. Um, we have approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of September 8th, 2020. No one needs to abstain. Everyone was at that meeting. We have two retirement letters. One is for Michael Abate for Glassboro Police Department. He is a patrol officer. He'll be retiring. And another retirement letter from Rosemary Powell. She is from the Glassboro Municipal Court. Um, we have uh, one item under new business, which is New Jersey State Firemen's Association membership application. We have two of them, actually. Uh, one for Joseph and Antonio, and another one for Anthony J. Gandolfo. <clears throat> um, we also have a solicitor's report. And I believe that there's an item at the end of the solicitor's report uh, that Mark, I'm not sure, did you want to review that now, Mark? Uh, if you want, I can go over it under the engineer's report. Uh, I have two items, um, but that's okay, Mayor. Okay. okay. Uh, there was, has been some discussion uh, in, in response to some of the residents' concerns over uh, in the Ellesmere Estates area for establishing some speed humps on Martin Luther King Drive uh, for that. Uh, I think you've all seen a copy of the plan uh, for that item. What we need to proceed with next is to get authorization from council to send a letter out to the residents on Martin Luther King along with a copy of the plan, aerial plan that I uh, gave everybody so they can see those locations and then invite them to uh, what it's gonna end up being a virtual meeting so they can echo any positives or negatives about having speed humps over in that location. That's typically our policy um, for this. Let's get the input from all the residents who are going to be directly impacted by that, that um, locations of those speed humps and the impact for them on a daily basis. And if uh, they evaluate the positives and negatives and the council will decide uh, how much of each as to whether to proceed with the project. And then from there we can go. So basically tonight we'll need authorization, coordinate with Tim uh, for that to uh, authorize the clerk's office to send out a letter to the residents along with the plan, uh, inviting them to a meeting, and then we'll have to set a date as to when that's available and who would attend that meeting for the, the uh, uh, get interaction with the, with the residents over there. Typically, we, in the past, we've met in the conference in the courtroom with a couple display boards so they can see it, they can answer questions, or I can answer questions with the presentation and the impact. So we'll just have to do it virtually this time. Mark, do you need that motion now or when we go out into the uh, regular scheduled meeting? I'll defer to Tim that, but it can be out in the normal, the regular meeting would be fine. 
Yep, we can do it then. Uh, we can do it at the regular meeting. Okay, thank you. Uh, the second item I had, it's an email out previously. Uh, we're nearing uh, completion of the re, uh, Fern Road water tower spec, uh, specs to repaint that. Uh, we're coordinating now with the staff to gear, gear that up to, to go out. Uh, one aspect I'd like to get input, I spoke to George briefly about this a week or two ago, is we have the current logo over there uh, on the tank on right next to Route 55, Purpose, uh, Progress, Pur Purpose Pride and Progress, uh, four of those with two American flags with, uh, with Glassboro on there. We were just anticipating re redoing that same logo out there. I didn't know if there's any input or concerns with anybody out there of having something different um, or not, you know, making any changes. Uh, but at the moment, we are proceeding with what's out there right now. And I didn't know if anybody had any yays or nays uh, for that. Uh, hearing otherwise, we'll uh, proceed as is. Is it worth is it worth putting that out to bid to see if we could generate some income off of it? I, I, it's possible. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, we could take a look at it. I know obviously New Jersey American has their logo down there, but they built the tank, so that, that's their ownership uh, for that. But that might be something out there. I mean, we could we could always do that. We're looking right now, subject availability of funds and everything else that I know Karen and Ed are working on, that uh, we'll be able to uh, request to go out to bid on August 27th or August October 27th or get that at that meeting. Have it out to bid, and we won't collect bids till December 8th. So we do have some time to investigate that to see if we want to go through with that and uh, make any changes to the bid specs if something comes up. So uh, explain that to me. What will we go out for? For what? I'll just, I guess, request to see if anybody wants to uh, put their logo on the tank, and which it would help offset the paint costs, if I'm not mistaken. Ed, you you mean have. logo for for a business? Yeah, could be. Can you do that, Timmy, on a, on a, on a, on a municipal tower? If we uh, go out to a public bid for to, for it, yeah, sure, sure. I'm assuming that that's something that you, as elected group, would like to do to, I mean, raise money, or do you want it on your water tower? I mean, that that's the question. Yeah, sure. Well, don't we have? I don't. I don't remember. I ride by it every day, but isn't there uh, antennas up there and all? Uh, not not too much. We don't have any cellular carriers out there. We just have. Uh, Local antennas for the, the borough systems and the police and that. All right. Well, when I was superintendent, I was totally against all that. But my opinion is um, I, I'm not for it. It's just my opinion for advertisement up there. That's just me. Yeah, I think at some point, Mark, will need a definite answer whether you do or don't. And are you OK if not uh, putting back the same uh, logo language? that's on there now or do you want to have a mural art project or come up with another idea <laughs> i don't think we want a mural art project <laughs> oh, come on guys why not <laughs> it's a water there was, a, there was actually it's, something it's, nice it's, it's a water tower i like what they got over there now it's a water tower it holds <laughs> water and delivers water. Okay. Oh, calm down, Mr. Water and Sewer D. Conversation. What if we well, listen, a lot of people, there's a lot of people that see that water tower every single day that people may want to, you know, put their name up there. And if we could get some money for it, that's my thought process behind it. It's going to be $3 million to paint it. Well, maybe we have a future display of the future. <laughs> Yeah, I can see. I can see that's a nay vote. Yes. <laughs> Mark, does this have to be part of the bid? The. No. Well, yes, no. Uh, Mark would prefer that it be part so that the whole project is done and finished all at the same time, right, Mark? Yeah, I, I guess if you wanted to, you could get go out separately for authorization, or just yeah. go out separately to seek anyone interested in yeah. putting their logo on there, um, and then establishing what that price would be. For that, I guess is a question. I mean, obviously the, the painting is, as Ed alluded to, is extremely expensive, and that's fortunately we have to do it every 25 years or so uh, with those. But you'd have to go out to, I guess, legally have to get authorization to go out to bid to seek people, company uh, with logos, yep. and what they were willing to pay for it, or if we set a minimum price. And that's the one right on 55, right? That's correct, Joe. Yes. Isn't that on the Rome's property? No, that that we have that that one's uh, that's all on borough property there. It's all in the office office park area. Yes. Right. Yep. Rowan University one. Yeah. Uh, it's over to his campus, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think having ads on a water tower would be kind of 
I mean, I know it's a great way to get some revenue to help pay for painting it, but I don't know. I don't like the idea. It's really, it's really no different than, you know, the Wells Fargo Center, something. That's that's my thought process behind it. Somebody names it, people see their name, they get impressions every single day. I'm not looking to put 52 different ads. I'm looking for somebody to take sponsorship of the water tower to generate income for us. I don't know what it could get, but you know, to Mark's point, we paint it every 25 years. You know, we're not the Wells Fargo Center, but that deal when it originally started was a million dollars a year. We if we could get if we could get twenty-five thousand dollars a year or something along those lines, it could be substantial income. That's true. Also, you know, I guess it would help if we could see like what you were thinking as far as I like, would say, welcome to Glassboro and then have, you know, brought to you by Wells Fargo or whatever, you know, that kind of, would that be how it would kind of be laid out? Yeah, and yeah, we'd have to dig into it more. You know, we could go out there, I, I guess, to see if there's any, um, any interest. And then Tim, I think, you know, we'd have to have final say. You know, I don't care if somebody wants to give us five million dollars and it's something we don't like. Right. We don't, you know, it's something that's not going to make the town proud. Then we probably don't want to do it. Yep, no, always right to reject and do nothing. Yep, that's great. Right. But how about if, how about if Inspira wanted to put their logo up there? Yeah, they're not so, in Glassboro, but okay. yeah, yeah. That's right. good. Um. A question about Mark's first uh, request for a motion for that letter. Will that be requested during his report, or are we doing that somewhere else in the main part of the meeting? Uh, during his report, Mayor, on the regular meeting. Okay, so when he brings, when he does his report, uh, somebody will make a motion at that time. That's okay. correct, Mayor. Thank you. So you, maybe we can have more discussion around the water tower at the work session. Yep. Okay. That was my question. <laughs> we will add it to the work session. Yep. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, we have um, just a handful of resolutions. I'm sorry, Mark. Did I cut you off? I didn't, right? Okay. Yeah, no, you're good to go. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> the delay in the in the voice is a little rough <laughs> sometimes on the computer. Uh, resolution 23520, resolution authorizing cancellations and cancellation and refund of taxes due to totally disabled veteran granted block 408.27 um, lot 6.02 total amount to count. Cancel is $3,555.14, and the total amount to refund is $1,273.78. Resolution 23620, resolution authorizing refund of duplicate tax payment, Block 198.03, Lot 9, in the amount of $2,402.92. Resolution 237. 20 resolution authorizing submission and execution of NPP COVID-19 relief program grant in the amount of $150,000 between the borough of Glassboro and the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs NPP COVID-19 relief program for small business relief. Resolution 23820, resolution authorizing change order number one for Redmond Avenue drainage project, phase two and three in the borough of Glassboro. And this is a decreased, decreased amount of $15.49. I know that that sounds a little ridiculous, but. Um, <laughs> Resolution 23920, resolution of the borough of Glassboro authorizing land sale of certain block and lots within the borough of Glassboro County of Gloucester, state of New Jersey. This is for Merchant Street, block 431, lots 22, 23, and 24. And I have another resolution for the end of the meeting if um, the public sale of land goes through 
which would be a resolution just confirming sale of land for borough owned vacant land known as block 466, lots seven and eight. Correct. And I believe that's, uh, that's pretty much it for me this evening. Thank you, Karen. I think that's all we have until the uh, start of the regular meeting. That would be correct. Oh, thanks, Tim. Oh, I wasn't on mute. I'm sorry. Do we have to open this up to the public? We do. We do, not. We do yes. What do you mean we do not? Yes, we do. Yep, yep, yep. I was on the wrong part of the agenda. Public? I'll make that motion. I have a motion. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. 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 Yes. Ayes have it. The meeting, uh, the work session meeting is now open to the public if anyone wants to address mayor and council. Hearing none and move the public floor should be closed. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor, state aye. 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 Against. Public portion is now closed. That should do it. I'm going to go. Sorry. Yep, motion. Motion, motion to uh, take a uh, motion to adjourn, recess, and then come back at seven for the regular meeting. We never usually do that, but okay. I mean, if you want to stay live, we can stay live. That's fine too. Mute yourself and close your camera off. <laughs> yep, yep. But we can stay on. Uh, yeah, just leave it on and, and we're fine. If you want to get off like I am for a moment, I will. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the new world order. <laughs> yeah. We have three minutes. Three minutes. Hey, Tim, Tim, you there? Before we go live, uh, on the agenda where the public land sale is, it's following yeah. the proclamations. Yeah. Am I just bringing it up? Or is that when the? Is that when we're going to ask for a? Yeah, I, I, actually, if you would uh, uh, turn that portion over to me, and I will conduct the land sale auction. Uh, uh, virtually. Okay. Because I'm not an auctioneer. Yes. Uh, but I will handle that for you, Mayor. <laughs> Very good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good job, Tim. Thank you, George. Very first good, time you compliment. Yeah, first time you compliment me in 20 years. Yeah, sure. See, that's these are the reasons why we have to keep them around. That's right. I don't I, think it was. I don't think it was genuine. Wait, wait another 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> That static is coming from, or is that my computer? No, the, somebody has something running in the background that sounds like a dryer like or a, a vacuum cleaner or something. Uh, who is that? Okay. Found it. <laughs> Excellent. One minute, Mayor. Okay, thank you very much. Kathy, are we still recording? Yes, we are. Okay. Some of your peppers, Ed. How are they, Joe? Good. They're excellent. Yeah, thank you. Very good. They're actually hey, your peppers. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the regular meeting of Mayor and Council of the Borough of Glassboro for October 13th, 2020, to order. Karen, could you please read the opening statement? Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting, as required by said act, has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2020, which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board, as well as the Borough website, and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County, and filed with the Borough Clerk on January 4th, 2020. Thank you. Can we all rise to please salute the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, 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 States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for all. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Costabone. Present. Mr. Delisandro. Here. Ms. Miller. Mrs. Spence. Here. Mr. Melandro. Present. Mr. Scafidi. Present. Mr. Brunimer. Present. Thank you. Uh, we have no uh, proclamations or presentations this evening. Uh, and at this time, I'll turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. 
Yes, thank you, Mayor. This is the uh, public land sale. Notice of this uh, land sale was published in the newspaper according to statutory requirements. At this point, I will open the floor to the public. The initial offer for the purchase of the property was made wow. by Deborah Hayward uh, for Block 466, Lot 7, and Block 466, Lot 8. The initial minimum bid offer made by her is a sum of $23,975. That will be the starting bid amount for the purchase of the uh, borough land. Is there anyone on this uh, phone call who wishes to make an offer greater than $23,975 for Block 466, Lot 7 and 8? Once, twice, hearing no one, third time, the auction is now closed. We will have a resolution added to the agenda to confirm the sale of the property to Deborah Hayward for the sum of $23,975. This evening, I will be in contact with Ms. Hayward as to how to finalize uh, the purchase uh, uh, following up uh, this week. Thank you, Mayor. Well, thank you, Councillor. Uh, at this time, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of September 8th, 2020. So moved. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Council President Cossabone, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Uh, Karen, we have any communications this evening? Yes, Mayor, we do. We have two retirement letters. I have one letter from Michael Abate, who is a patrol officer with the Glassboro Police Department. I also have another letter of retirement from Rosemary Powell, who is with the Glassboro Municipal Court. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to accept those two letters. I'll make that motion again. Second. Second. All right, I have a motion on the floor by Council President Cotsbone, seconded by Councilman D'Alessandro. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? aye. Abstentions? That motion carries. Uh, committee reports, uh, Council President Cotsbone. I have nothing at this time, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Council President. Uh, Councilman D'Alessandro? I have nothing at this time, Mayor. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Councilwoman Miller? Um, currently, the basketball season is going to be on hold. The school district and other schools within the uh, Gloucester County area are not allowing outsiders into the gym, so I believe our intramural I mean, not our intramural, excuse me, our park and rec basketball team program will be on hold this winter. And that's all I have at this time. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, Councilwoman Spence. Uh, yes, Mayor, I'm in the receipt of the September monthly construction report. All seems in order, and I want to commend the construction department for doing such a great job. And uh, that's about it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman, and thanks for sharing. Um, we have no unfinished business. Karen, do we have any new business? Yes, Mayor. I am looking for a motion to accept New Jersey State Firemen's Association membership application for Joseph M. D'Antonio and Anthony J. Gandolfo. I will make that motion to accept. Thank you. Okay, I have a motion on the floor by Council President Cossabone, seconded by Councilwoman Miller. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Extension? Aye. That motion carries. Uh, engineer's report, please. Yes, good evening. Uh, just a brief update. Uh, Town houses are over. The discussions are continuing with the Vaughn Company to get them online uh, with the property owner to get those improvements done. Redmond Avenue drainage project, uh, they're going to be out there tomorrow completing all the crosswalk uh, 
striping work that needs to be done and after their trench work was done uh, on Rowan Boulevard and at Redmond. Uh, there will be some traffic control officers down there to regulate the traffic through that area, but uh, that'll wrap that project up. Hollywood Drive uh, phase one, uh, the concrete work is underway. That's nearing completion and we'll be gearing up the pave. Hollybush phase two contracts went out last week. We're expecting those contracts probably back next week or so. So we schedule pre-con the same same bidder. We got a phase one, we've got a phase two. So hopefully he'll be able to roll right from one into the other uh, to keep that work going. Uh, the, the concepts is finalizing their punch list up on their parking lot there. College Town Shopping Center for the big box stores have got uh, most of their COs so they can operate there. Uh, the pad sites are still under construction uh, for those. Uh, and also one item, if we can add, with respect to the discussion with the residents over along Martin Luther King Drive, uh, I'd like to get a motion from council to authorize the clerk's office to send letters to the residents on Martin Luther King Drive, along with the uh, sketch plan our office developed and invite them to a virtual meeting uh, date to be determined so they we can get the feedback from those residents as to uh, aspects of putting speed humps out there to help reduce some of the speeding that they've been reporting to us. I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. <laughs> George. <laughs> uh, we're going to have the motion. There was a motion on the floor made by Councilwoman Spence. It was seconded by Council President Casabon. Uh, all those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Anything else, Mark? No, that's all I have for this evening. Thank you. All right. Thank you very, very much. Um, at this time, I'll turn the meeting over to our borough. Yes, thank you again, Mayor. Under our uh, solicitor's report, consent agenda, actions of the governing body this evening, resolution 235, authorizing cancellation and refund of taxes due to totally disabled veteran granite block 4.0827, lot 6.02, amount to cancel $3,555.14, total amount to refund $1,273. And 78 cents. Resolution 236, authorizing refund of duplicate tax payment for block 198.03, lot 9, in the amount of $2,402.92. Resolution 237, authorizing submission and execution of NPP COVID 19 relief program grant in the amount of $150,000 between the borough of Glassboro and the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs. MPP COVID-19 Relief Program Small Business Relief. Resolution 238, authorizing change order number one for Redmond Ave Drainage Project Phase 2 and 3. Decrease the amount uh, by $15.49. Resolution 239, resolution of the Borough of Glassboro, authorizing land sale, certain block and lots within the Borough of Glassboro. They are Merchant Street, block 431, lots 22, 23, 24 for the minimum bid amount of $4,000. And our add-on resolution this evening, resolution 24020, resolution confirming sale of lands known as block 466, lot seven and eight to Deborah Hayward in the amount of $23,975. They are the resolutions this evening. If council so moves for approval, roll call vote. I'll make that motion again. A second. Again, um, motion on the floor by Council President Cossabone, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Cossabone. Yes. Mr. Delisandro. Four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Four. That motion carries. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to open the public portion. I'll make that motion. Uh, a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? A second. Thank you. I have a motion on the floor by Council President Cosbone, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Abstention? That motion carries. Okay, the floor is now open for anyone from the public that wishes to address mayor and council. I'll make a motion to close to the public. Second. 
I have a motion on the floor by Councilman D'Alessandro, seconded by Councilwoman Spence to close the public portion. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Motion carries. The public portion is now closed. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. So I'll make a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Councilwoman Miller, seconded by Councilman D'Alessandro. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Yes, Mayor. I, I want to uh, stay on PO number 20-03513. Thank you. Thank you. Duly noted. Any other abstentions? Very good. That motion still carries. Uh, any comments from our borough administrator? No, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, I have nothing to comment other than everybody, please continue to stay safe and stay well. and. Make sure you wear your mask, wash your hands. It's fall's coming and uh, we're expecting another surge. So please be careful, everyone. And with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll second it. I have a motion on the floor by Council President Cosbone, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? motion carries this meeting is now adjourned everybody again be safe have a great evening next regular meeting was scheduled for october 27 2020 tentatively for 8 p.m good night everyone have a good, good night, night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.